good afternoon. Uh, nine days, the Americans will go to the polls, as we know, and vote for the leader of the free world for the next four years. So let's, uh, let's pray, because we do need God's help mightily in this endeavor. Father, Father in heaven, we pray that we, your people, will look to you as the, as the one leader, the one who resides over all governments. We pray that the people of this nation will put their faith and trust in you, that we would pray for our leaders. Father, we do not know which man you want, men that you want in power. We put our faith and trust in you. No matter what happens in this great country, O oh God, we know that unless you build the city, the weary builders toil in vain, unless you watch over it. The guards maintain a useless watch. Father, so let us now put our faith and trust in these men, but in you. And Father God, you grab the hearts of this nation that we would get leaders that we deserve in Christ, because we put our faith in you. So Father, we just pray that the elections would be smooth, that there would be no angry, divided country. We pray that men and women would be united and trying to do what is good for the whole of this country. So Father, we pray that your people are not divided over the governments and the philosophies of men and parties. We would realize and know until there is a repentance in this nation and put our faith in you, we're going to give what we have. So Father, ultimately our prayer is that we would turn this whole nation to put our faith and trust in you. And then you will bless this nation, O oh God, like a city set on a hill. So Father, we just put our faith and trust in you as we go and vote, realizing that all peace and prosperity come from you. And our desire is that they will come to know you, the one true God, in Jesus Christ. And we just put this in your hands, O oh God. Put our faith in you and you only and not men, not parties, and not human government. In Jesus' name, amen.